Welcome back. Kim Wilcox from It's Also Yummy Cafe is here now with several different kinds of game day nachos you can make for the Super Bowl or any other big events you might have coming up. Good to see you. You too. Now, first of all, let's just put it out there. Kim says if you invite her to your Super Bowl party, I will bring nachos. Four kinds, not just three. Not just one, not, not just, just one, one kind. Not just two. I have a feeling you're going to get yeah. some good invitations. I'll bring the nachos. All right, so okay. we already have two here, but what, what's the key to making a good nachos? Well, it, in my opinion, you've got to use, when you're making nachos, a good thick chip. Now, I like the thin tortillas, too, mm -hmm. but this has got to be able to hold up well, you gotta get a lot of to stuff everything on you're there. putting yeah. on. And you have to layer, layer, layer. Okay. Like, you can't lay down the chips, put everything on top. You've got to layer, and... You can use shredded cheese, but okay. you have to have some mm, melty, gooey cheese because that's the glue yeah. that holds everything well, together. Yeah, well, and there's nothing right more there. than pulling a chip out. There's nothing on it. Oh, no, that makes me so right. mad. Me yeah. too. It just ruins the whole nacho experience. So you start with some lettuce. So we're going to start with lettuce. We're going to put a layer of these nice, hearty chips down there. Okay. This one is going to be, this is going to be a taco nacho. A taco. Okay. One. Okay. These over here that we've made are a Hawaiian. Mm. So it's got ham. It's got fresh pineapple, mm -hmm. jalapenos, some ranch, and two kinds of cheese. Ooh, a little spicy. And then okay. we have a BLT nacho with bacon, lettuce, tomato. It's got some shredded cheddar, a little bit of parsley, some melted cheese on it, and a little bit of ranch All as well. All the good stuff. Yes. You can really make this your own, can't you? You can do it. Some people like it with chili on it, and I do too. Okay. I was trying to think of some fun theme nachos mm -hmm. that weren't just your run of the mill. Yeah. So I would do one layer of literally everything. And it doesn't okay. have to be pretty. Like there's no Just put it on there. magic way to do it. I tomatoes. Spread it out evenly. Okay. You see? So it not everything is not in one place. You can put some beans mm -hmm. on there. Some pico. I love all these toppings you've chosen. I do too. And right here. So you this need is to where start. you put the queso in. Okay. Start with the queso so it's going to hold all Yum. that stuff in there. And so when, when your friends peel off the top half that you're not left <laughs> with nothing, with at nothing the on the bottom, that's <laughs> just so frustrating. Okay, so then you layer the chips then again. you just keep layering. And you, you just kind of start all over with the yeah, toppings. Yeah, you just layer, layer, layer. And you, I'm going to put some cilantro on this one. There's some onions, some sour cream. Yum. So now, you, you said you don't make nachos at the restaurant, we but don't. what do you have going on at the restaurant right now? We have some new soups this week. I oh, made a, a week for that. I made a split pea and ham soup, and I also made a chipotle mushroom soup, which has yes. got a little bit of kick to it, and it's really good, and we made homemade croutons to put on top of that. Well, so it's a cold week, so it's a good time it to It is cold, and it's soup. delicious. All right, well, we're out of time, but this is looking delicious. Tell people where they can find you again. At 124 South Peters Road, okay. right behind Walgreens. And she's always got good photos on her Instagram of all the yummy foods you're making. Good we to try, see you. We try to tempt people. <laughs> hey, if you have a party coming up, give Kim a call.